back and they will begin things at the 25. First play, second down. Brings up second and five. On the counter, it's Connor. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Scrambling not particularly a Roethlisberger strong suit, but he does get the job done there and gets a first. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. On first and 10 is Connor. And now running right through him. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. At the 46-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. On the jet sweep, this is Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. A loss of a yard on the play. It's now third. Now it's Roethlisberger. Escaping the pressure right. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. First and ten. Looking left side of him, he's got a man. It's Robinson. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. Trying to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped. Ten yards. First down. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And a very short pick up there. Across the 15 to the 16. It's big Vince Williams who made the tackle. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. Flush to his right. And this one is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Got a man out of the backfield. It's Chris Thompson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They'll run here with Robinson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. The straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. For James Robinson. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Minshew. He'll find his man, LaVisca Chenault. 
And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 31-yard line. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On the run, it's Robinson. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Now Minshew, flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, the pressure just couldn't get to him that time. They forced him out to his right, but he held his poise, surveyed the field, didn't find anything he liked, and then took off and picked up a nice game. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. Able to complete this to Chanel. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the middle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Try keeps moving. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. <laughs> Minshew sets to throw. And he will get this into the end zone for a 